Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. I'm inside today because it's getting a little colder outside. And today the video is about the Hytera DMR Radio model PD985. This uh, is a commercial radio, so it's not uh, especially made for uh, amateur radio, but it, it can serve very well as an amateur radio. So uh, I'll start by uh, giving you some of the features. Then we'll have a quick look at the uh, programming and then of course I will be uh, using the radio and uh, showing you the beautiful town of Antibes. So here uh, we have uh, a DMR radio, so it's digital but it's also analog so you can use this on DMR and you can use it also on analog, you know, FM frequencies on uh, like, you know, with any other radio. Uh, using FM on the amateur bands. Now DMR is a digital mode. It's uh, open source, so to speak. So the advantage, uh, in my opinion, is that you're not, uh, you know, kind of locked into a proprietary mode like uh, ICOM D-Star or uh, Yesu Fusion, for uh, for instance. Uh, any manufacturer can use the uh, DMR protocol and uh, this high terror radio here is uh, it's uh, you know higher um, it's a higher quality uh, radio basically it's not cheap but i think you get a lot for your money and we're going to see that the features it has it has a uh, built-in gps which is cool <laughs> it can give you your position if you need to uh, send it out uh, at, you know attached to a message or uh, uh, simply uh, by voice. Uh, there are also a number of uh, emergency modes that you can program, but that's more for uh, commercial use. But uh, DMR is uh, used quite a bit for uh, amateur radio, and there are a number, a huge number of repeaters uh, all over the world, and also here in France, uh, as well as in the US or anywhere else. You can also, of course, uh, have DMR conversations between radios, it also has Bluetooth, which I know I wish more manufacturers made uh, Bluetooth enabled radios. So you can use a headset, you know, microphone, uh, anything you want. Uh, I know you can also uh, send and receive data uh, via Bluetooth, but that's again, that's more of a commercial application. This guy has encryption, very good for us preppers, although of course it's illegal on amateur radio. So don't do it. I'm not going to do it, but I kind of like to have the, the capability, so to speak. You never know. Uh, who knows when that would be uh, necessary, but I, I don't know, but I it, I sure like to have it, basically. It's IP68, so uh, 1.5 meters for 30 minutes, if I remember well. Uh, we're going to test that. Uh, it It's a Tier 2 and Tier 3 radio. So it has trunking, again, that's more of a commercial uh, application. I'm not going to get into that, but it has full duplex, meaning that uh, you, you can have a conversation and receive and transmit at the same time on the same frequency. It's also, listen to that, it's also a repeater, a DMR repeater on the same frequency using the two different time slots. So a uh, feature I'm not going to be testing on this video, but uh, maybe later I'll make another video. Uh, I have to study the uh, that because it's it's uh, it's not that simple. But just uh, today I'm going to use it as a regular uh, DMR radio. The radio also has a micro SD card slot behind the battery, so you can record your conversations. By the way, if you want to use DMR, you have to obtain a DMR identification number. So you go to dmr-mark.net and you can register there showing that you uh, you have a license. Uh, they will issue you a uh, worldwide uh, DMR uh, ID number. Of course, uh, if you want to use the radio for you know personal communications, you don't want to uh, connect to uh, amateur repeaters, you can make up any number for the radio as long as they all have different numbers and uh, this way you can uh, communicate within a group. A word about uh, DMR for prepping. Uh, personally I feel like for a lone wolf, uh, you know, one person 
uh, DMR is, is not useful. It's not something you need or you want. It's not going to do anything. Uh, you know, it, you'll have no use for DMR, basically. Especially that if the internet is down, uh, well, you, you lose any connection to the outside world. So if you have no one else to talk to locally, uh, you don't need DMR. On the other hand, if you have a group, and of course, you know, survival means survival in a group. It, it's very difficult. I think it would be extremely difficult to survive by yourself uh, alone in an SHTF situation. Uh, you need a group. And if you have if you don't have a group yet, uh, you better work on that. But within a group, having DMR brings you a lot of privacy. Uh, you know, especially with the encryption, even without the encryption, of course, just the fact that it's coded, it's, it's digitally coded, uh, it, you know, who's going to know how to listen to you? Uh, practically nobody. So you get a lot of privacy using DMR. If someone just stumbles upon your frequency, all they're going to hear is like a garbled kind of sound and there's absolutely uh, no way they can, uh, they can decode that. So for group communications, a big advantage uh, with DMR. We'll start with the easiest part, which is to create an analog channel. Here you can see already put in the uh, PMR frequencies, so just in case. And I have a uh, simplex, well, a, a channel that I call simplex. And that's where I'm going to enter a simplex frequency. So it's going to be uh, 433.5. And the receive frequency is going to be equal to the uh, transmit frequency because it's an analog channel and we're not connecting to a repeater here. So everything else stays about the same. Okay, nothing here. Uh, the uh, emergency system, I'm going to take that off. Then I'll go down power, I'll put high, which is four watts, plenty of power. Uh, low is one watt nothing else to change here and uh, that's about it guys uh, don't forget to add a zone so i have uh, a few zones like south north uh, uk and italy and that's about it add your channel and you're done here we are going to create a digital channel so a few more uh, parameters to uh, to enter which are parameters that uh, you obtain with information on the repeater uh, this one, so I went on the digital channel, uh, one is already there, but I'm going to rename it. Uh, the local repeater is uh, Montchauve, so I'm just going to give it that name. You can see below that we have color code, that's uh, usually it's one. Uh, it's a parameter again uh, given to you by the uh, relay uh, administrator, uh, the repeater, I should say, <laughs> relays in French. Uh, time slot, uh, if I remember well, that's time slot 2 for Montchauve. So let's put that in. Otherwise, I didn't touch anything else. I'm going to change the, uh, the scan list. Uh, it's just uh, to add the channel to my uh, list of uh, channels to scan that I called ham scan. Okay, we'll scroll down a little bit to uh, set up the, uh, the frequencies. Uh, here the uh, transmit and receive frequencies are going to be different because of course we're connecting to a repeater. So the repeater will give you a transmit frequency, uh, which is a frequency the repeater transmits on, which you are going to enter into your receive frequency, so Rx. And that's going to be, uh, let's see, 430 30. 0.425 uh, the uh, transmit frequency that is my transmit frequency for my radio so that's the receive frequency on the repeater 439.825 and you can see down below I have uh, there is the TX contact name I haven't set that up yet uh, because I, I need to add my talk group so uh, for my region that's uh, 20806 so we'll see that in a bit you'll notice that uh, there is uh, encryption there <laughs> right below here and uh, we're not going to use that because uh, once again it's illegal so uh, don't touch that but you know it's there right here
Other than that, uh, not much to change. I'm going to remove the uh, emergency system once again, like for the analog channel. I'll set the uh, power level to high. Uh, there is a medium setting also, by the way. I think it's, well, it's probably like two and a half watts, maybe. Um, not sure. Low is one, high is four. Plenty of power, once again. Uh, always allow means uh, you're always allowed to transmit at any time. Actually, I'm going to call this uh, Shove 06 because uh, uh, you can put more than one talk group. You can create more channels uh, on the same repeater. So notice on the left here, I have uh, zones, South, PMR and UK. Uh, later, I added Italy and uh, those are different zones that I can select. And the uh, channels are assigned to different zones. Looking into contacts, I need to add my uh, talk group. So the talk group for uh, the uh, Department of Alpes Maritime, which is uh, 20806. Uh, there is one there already uh, that came programmed in the radio, but I'm going to uh, give it a name uh, 06, simply for reference. And the uh, caller ID is going to be uh, 20806. So that's what's called the uh, talk group. And those are the only uh, parameters really that you have to set up. Here I'm creating an RX uh, group list. I'm just going to call that uh, FR for France, but I'll put all the channels in there. It doesn't matter. I mean, all talk group. And you can see here the uh, 06 appeared in the TX contact name. Now I already added the channel to my zone. So all I have to do now is to uh, send the information to the radio uh, via the uh, programming cable which uh, comes with the radio actually and that's it guys um, you just have set up a dmr channels for a, a repeater oui tout à fait hein? et puis bon ça marche très très bien de chez moi hein? 9 plus 10 donc euh, impeccable hein? euh, super signal hein? euh, non c'est pas la première fois que j'utilise le dmr euh, J'utilisais le DMR quand, quand j'habitais à Lille, puisqu'il y avait un relais qui était, euh, qui était DMR hein, sur, sur le beffroi de Lille, donc euh, voilà. Mais en fait, je ne l'ai pas utilisé depuis, puisque je ne savais pas qu'il y avait un relais sur, euh, sur le Mont Chauve. Voilà, mais maintenant, je serai euh, plus souvent à l'écoute. Hein. À toi. All right, guys, IP68, <laughs> let's see. Absolutely. I'm on my boat today, <laughs> uh, you know, not in the mountains, but uh, I decided to show you uh, the, uh, this magnificent town of Antibes where I live and uh, uh, use the uh, Hytera PD985 uh, on DMR. So uh, I'll just go and walk in the old city and uh, show you a little bit around and uh, hopefully make a few contacts on DMR. Antibes is uh, presumably the uh, biggest uh, leisure uh, port in Europe and uh, it's absolutely gigantic. Here's the uh, Fort Carré, square fort, so to speak. It's hard to zoom, but uh, you can see it still. Not really. Oui, Gérald, euh, 6HBI, 6F4, euh, Whisky, Bravo Yankee. Super, Gilles. Super, F4, Whisky, Bravo Yankee. Bon, oh, juste un petit coucou parce que je suis en train de mourir en mobile. Euh, donc, quand tu es euh, non, c'est bien. Je suis connecté, c'est super. Il marche très bien, ça va l'air. I have a great view here uh, towards Nice, uh, beautiful. On the other side, I have a good view uh, on the old city, uh, part of it. 
and uh, this is the uh, Cap d'Antibes. Bonjour, ici Gilles, F4 Whisky, bravo, Yankee, F4 WBY, à l'écoute. Nobody on right now, 2806, we'll continue our little tour. Now that is a real boat. Ah Christian, oui, bonjour. Euh, Rebonjour, comment ça va Ouais, 73. Euh, écoute, euh, ça va très bien. Euh, je viens de voir ton message sur Facebook. Euh... On dit MRTG euh, 2806, non <rire> Je dis, ah ben bah, écoute, je vais écouter, je, je viens de me mettre sur le 2806 pour voir un peu s'il y avait du monde. Et puis je t'ai entendu appeler, je dis, bon, euh, il a l'air un peu tout seul. Alors euh, je dis, je vais un peu, euh, je vais un peu lui répondre parce que c'est bizarre, hein, c'est la journée des radios amateurs, la journée mondiale des radios amateurs, et c'est un peu silencieux. <rire> à mon avis, à mon avis, il faut tout ça qui est là. Ah, si. Uh, you guys have had, uh, you know, QSO in French. Oh well, you know that's uh, it's good for practice. <laughs> but uh, it, it it works really well. Uh, what can I say? No problem. Apparently, I'm triggering the uh, relay in uh, Montbignon in Italy, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, it does work. Uh, there's nobody on the uh, talk group, but uh, it's uh, 2806. Let's try again. F4 Whisky, bravo, Yankee, F4 WBY pour un essai radio, merci. Yeah, it's connecting. Oui, je vous reçois un de F4 WBY par le Mont Bignon. Oh ben alors, tu m'en as lancé, mais j'aurais pas cru. Hein. J'aurais pas cru, je euh, suis sur le bord de mer, comme ça, à cet endroit-là. Euh, le Mont Bignon puisse euh, correctement euh, fonctionner. Bon, ben alors c'est propre au DMR parce que il euh, y a aussi de l'analogique là-bas et l'analogique. Hein, euh, de, sous, de mémoire en analogique euh, les relais sont placés au même endroit en analogique euh, on, y a, on y arrivait quasiment pas à mobile hein. I'm still receiving a signal inside my parking garage here it's uh, reinforced concrete and uh, analog I never never get anything I hope you liked uh, this little tour of the city of Antibes. Uh, it was a bit short, but the uh, focus was on the radio, of course, with a uh, quite a surprise at the end uh, with the connection to the uh, repeater in uh, Mont Bignon in Italy. So about 58 kilometers, which is quite a, quite a long way, especially that I was at sea level uh, at the end uh, when I came back to my car uh, in the parking uh, in uh, the, the port. So uh, quite happy with this radio. Uh, the the sound was amazing, even uh, you know 58 kilometers away. So it's basically it works great. You know, uh, uh, Hytera uh, has very good quality radios, and uh, I'm not quite. I'm you know I'm not surprised. It's a very rugged radio also, and I think it will last a very long time. Uh, you know, commercial radio and commercial radios are you know a notch above uh, amateur radio. Well, except maybe the the because brands, but uh, again, Hytera is, uh, is uh, quite a nice brand of radios. So I'm going to keep this and uh, I'll take it to the mountains. I wish I could have gone to the mountains today, but with the weather, I, it just wasn't a good idea. But you saw the radio in operation. Uh, you saw how it works, uh, you know, the features. And uh, again, it's not cheap, but I think you, you get your money's worth. Uh, I'm again, quite happy about it. Oh, hi Terra. Please make a dual band radio, VHF, UHF. Thanks. Have a good one.